A stool is one of the earliest forms of seat furniture. It bears many similarities to a chair. It consists of a single seat for one person without back or armrests in early stools. On a base of a stool there are either one, two, three or four legs. A stool is generally distinguished from chairs by their lack of arms and the back. Variants exist with one, two or five legs and these very various stools are referred to by some people as backless chairs. Some modern stools have backs. Folding stools can become flat typically by rotating the seat to be parallel with fold-up legs. Several stools are designed with three legs because three points define a plane. This will not wobble even if placed on an uneven floor. Metal stool is a type of furniture that uses metal parts in its construction. There are various types of metals that can be used such as iron, carbon steel, aluminum and stainless steel. Hello hello dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you metal leg stool design ideas. This video contains a collection of beautiful metal leg stool design ideas which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. Well viewers as always if you are not interested in making your own metal leg stools you can always purchase them online. We have included some links you can use to choose some of the best selling designs in the video description. You definitely need to check all of them out before deciding which one to buy. If you are already <coughs> if you are new to the channel and if you like what you see please consider subscribing to our channel and smash that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos. If you're already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Early stools for ceremonial purposes were merely squared blocks of stone. When made of wood, the stool had a flint seat, later shaped co concavely, covered with a soft cushion. In time, the stool developed into the chair by the addition of a back and arms. Such throne chairs were reserved for use by pers personages of great importance. Footed stools were of wood. The, the, the royal footstool was painted with the figures of traditional enemies of Egypt so that the pharaoh might symbolically tread his enemies under his feet. Carvings of animal feet on straight chair legs were common, as were legs shaped like those of animals. Passing almost unchanged from antiquity to medieval use, the stool remained the common sitting form. Late medieval stools, which resembled small benches, were called board or slab ended stools. They were made of obsolete. They were made obsolete by the standard joint stool, which was produced in the early 17th century in upholstered sets with chairs and foot stools. By the 19th century, stools had become primarily rustic or ornamental furniture. The exception was the development of the bar stool, a high stool with or without arms and back, 
usually fixed to central post and used in bars and cocktail lounges. The back stool represents an intermediate step between the development of the stool and the chair. A simple three leg turned stool would have its rear leg extended outwards and a crossways pad attached. Back stools were always three legged, with the turned back stools led in turn to the development of the three leg turned chair, where the backrest was widened and supported by diagonal spindles leading down to extensions of the front legs. In time, these diagonal supports became larger, higher, and more level, leading to the turned armature design. In modern times, the term stool has become blurred and many types now have backs. These are particularly common among bar stools, tall stools for sitting at a counter often fixed in place. These are a development of the chair as much as the stool, made more compact to allow dense sitting around a serving table or counter. They might even be referred to as backless chairs. Such back stools developed from around the 1900 with the advent of modern materials such as bent wood and later the bent steel tube of Marshall Brewer's work at the house. These isotropic materials no longer depend on the shapes of traditional joinery as developed for earlier stools, and so strong backs could be attached arbitrarily without relying on particular leg placement for strength. Bar stools are a, tip, a type of tall chair, often with a foot rest to support the feet. The height and narrowness of bar stools makes them suitable for use at bars and high tables in, push, in pubs and bars. Prior to prohibition, bar stools in America were not used in drinking establishment but in food establishments. Bars without stools were the norm, and that was considered an American peculiarity. There are many different types, construction materials, and models. Bar stools are often made of wood or metal. There are bar stools with and without armrests, box, and padding or upholstery on the seat surface. Bar stools can range from rustic wooden design to more complex ones with adjustable height. Extra tall and extra short are common features, as well as indoor bar stools and outdoor bar stools. Some bar stools have backs, while most do not. In commercial settings, swivel and floor mounted bar stools are common. Floor mounting renders the stool immovable, so it cannot be stolen or used as a weapon in a bar fight. Floor mounted stools generally are mounted on a column, but stools with legs can also be secured to the floor using metal brackets. The normal seat height for a bar stool is 30 inches or 76 cm with 26 inch or 66 cm stool being used against kitchen counters. Extra tall 36 inch or 91 cm stools are increasingly used in contemporary styles 
with hype up tables to create a visual effect in modern interiors. Counter height bar stools have a seat height of 24 inches or 61 centimeters. By comparison, a conventional dining chair seat height is 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Some bar stools use polyurethane foam as padding for comfort. Bar stools can be made from rattan or bamboo and these stools can be used to create a tiki bar effect. The retro styling of the 1950s and 1960s is popular in some bars and restaurants, which use chrome and vinyl stools combined with matching benches or diner chairs. Stacking stools are often favored for their space saving qualities some establishments use matching bar stools and chairs aluminum is often used outdoors stacking aluminum stools and patio chairs are used by commercial premises indoors wood and upholstery are popular in traditional settings Bar stools are used in pool or billiard halls and the style of chair customized for such use is often called a spectator chair. Bar stools are used in Ireland during weekends by followers of the English Premier League, a practice which led to the creation of the pejorative term bar stoolers by supporters of the League of Ireland. Bar stools are a growth area in the consumer market and online purchasing is on the increase. Bar stools can be made to order and customers can specify a wide range of fabrics and finishes as well as specifying other options such as height and custom foot rests. Both wood and metal bar stools, including the stainless and chrome styles and adjustable height features are popular. Since our today's focus is on metal leg stools, let's have a look at the benefits of metal furniture. Durability is the main advantage of metal furniture. Because most metal furniture is treated for rust and heat resistant, it doesn't need much maintenance. Steel furniture is typically pricier when it is used as furniture, with the price varying according to the type of metal and thickness. However, it is hard to identify it after a finish is applied. Steel has low, medium or high carbon, with most metal furniture being made with low carbon because it is cheaper than a higher grade of carbon. Another alternative, stainless steel, is good for low maintenance. Made of an alloy of carbon, iron and other materials, metals, its main reason for its strength is because of chromium, which protects from rust and corrosion because of its thin film of oxide on the surface. Wrought iron is good for garden furniture, providing a classic look. However, it is heavy, which creates a challenge to move from place to place. But it is appreciated on windy days because it stays fixed. It needs much care because it is it can corrode easily if not waterproofed.
In places where water absorption is eminent, aluminium is more common than steel. Mostly because it doesn't rest and also it oxidizes turning into a chalky white color. It is also lighter than steel making it more desirable. Cast and heavy tube aluminium give better quality. Aluminium has to be thicker than steel if it is to have as much strength. Tubular aluminium is flexible and hollowing, besides less sturdy. However, its lightness makes an ideal poolside furniture and is mainly used for benches, folding chairs and the swing sets. For beautification and for corrosion resistant, there are different types of finishes applied on the metal surface, basically on the metal legs in our case because we are talking about metal legged stools. Choosing the right finish for metal furniture is important because of its durability. Good finishing results in good durability while poor, finish poor finishing results in less durability when you look at some of the most common finishing it includes chrome plating pvdv pvdf plastic painted brass and adonized finishes chrome plating is durable but it's a thin and if damaged where it is exposed to air the scratches can rust therefore when a chrome plated surface is scratched it can rust on the other hand, plastic coated finishes are synthetically made and good as they prevent rusting of the, ma the metal and from changing color from air exposure. Although they are as strong as paint finishes, they don't hold up as well as electroplated finishes. On the other hand, painted finishes are for both steel and aluminum furniture, although it is easily scratches and rusts. The other type of finish, brass, fit, brass plating, which is an electroplated finish, is applied in a bath and is durable. Solid brass is both pricey and rare, therefore uh, the finishing or brass plating is used to make the metal look like solid brass. Brass finishes should be oiled or clear coated with polyurethane or a similar material to make a barrier from air and water to prevent corrosion. Corrosion is slowed when a surface is already oxidized. For example, aluminum is a very hard to weld because of its presence present aluminum oxide layer. This prevents access to the bare metal. Adonized finishes are used on aluminum furniture to increase the thickness of the aluminum oxide layer, creating a thicker barrier between the atmosphere and aluminum base metal. When selecting your metal leg stools, consider coat and finish. Ensuring the surface is either power coated or electroplated because these are the best options you have for durability and for long lasting furniture. Also consider your climate. For example, if you live in a rainy area, you will want furniture with heavy waterproofing and light enough to carry indoors. For hot climates, consider that aluminum retains heat so you cannot use 
Use it until it cools down, especially if the seat surface is made of aluminum, you need to wait until it cools down. But in, in our case, we are referring to metal leg stool, so legging material is not big of a problem. As you can see in the video, there are several designs, several shapes, several sizes, different configurations of metal leg stool designs. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to the metal leg stool and their design potential. They could be made budget friendly and highly expensive based on the design and materials used. I hope that this video gave you a lot of highlight uh, on what others have done and what others have manufacturing on their own. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of metal leg stool design ideas for your inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of several design ideas which you can easily copy and use as an inspiration. If you like such content, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.